Hey guys, it's Ollie from Flight Comp again, and I have another FR Sky Radio, or Free Sky, or however you want to call it, I have no idea. Um, this is an X10. It's the original X10, I guess you could call it the version 1, and it has the um, little US mini USB charge port on the side. And there was a bunch of drama on RC groups regarding this charge port. And I didn't really care too much about it. I thought oh, I'd be all right. I'd live with it. And I got this radio fairly recently, and I've had to charge it once. And already I can't stand this charge port because that little box falls out, and uh, it's sort of hard to stand the radio up. It's just a pain in the butt. So yeah, I thought I'd live with it, but I don't want to live with it. So. I'm going to make a uh, another mod to this radio, or a, the, the first mod, I should say. The original mod I did was to the uh, X7. But I'm going to do something to make this radio a lot easier to charge, and I've already come up with a solution. I was poking around the radio. I was thinking about having something cut in the case, a port where I could charge, but there's actually enough room under this cover to put something right here above this uh, data port um, so that's where I'd hoped I could make something and um, I took the screws out of the radio and split the case apart and lo and behold there is enough room so I've already made a bracket and got some parts I'll take the, the back cover off and show you guys uh, what, I, what I've come up with all right, here's the um, back case of the radio removed. Really easy to take the back cover off. It's just four screws and it slides off. And this is the area that I uh, was thinking about mounting some kind of charge port. And this is a um, small circuit board that's removable. Um, originally, it has two sc screws that tap into the plastic here that are flanged. Um, they're actually these screws here. Anyway, what I've come up with is this 3D printed bracket. You can see it right here. And I have a five pin connector in this bracket. And the idea is to mount this where those screws went. If I get them just right here. You can see my little bracket has holes um, for screws, I'm going to need to use longer screws and the bracket itself will hold this circuit board in place. And this is my connector right here. I'm going to glue that connector into the plastic bracket I made. And what, I'm, what I plan to do is use another battery. So this is the original battery. In the X10, um, it's a 2600 uh, lithium ion, and I'm going to use this battery here, which is a higher quality cell, a more stable cell, and it has more capacity. It's 3500 milliamps. Fits right in where this battery went. So the plan is to hook up the battery to the original position on the radio for power. And then the other two leads, which are these guys, I'll cut these up and solder these wires directly um, to this connector, this five pin connector. So basically what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have a positive and negative, and then uh, three pins for a balance lead. And then this is the plug that I'm gonna use to plug in here. And it's a really easy connection. It clicks in and pulls out. And it requires some of these uh, um, female crimping style. They're kind of like servo um, connectors. And I got all this stuff from uh, Hanson Hobbies, my connectors. I just went on their website. They have a bunch of connectors and housings. And I just, and I just rummaged around until I found something that I thought would work and I got some various things and these items here seem to do the job for me 
So I'll put links uh, in the description below to Hanson Hobbies uh, website if you guys want to get some of these for yourself uh, to try this mod. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut the hole in the back case uh, for the connector and I'm going to 3D print a template for myself so I can make this hole as neat as possible. So I'm going to do that and then I'll get back to you. A template to make a cutout in the back of the uh, radio case for my charging connector. I measured this a bunch of times uh, and drew it up on the computer. I'm going to cross my fingers <laughs> and hope that I measured right. And I'll start cutting this guy out and we'll see what happens. Okay, I managed to use my template that I made and I cut out a hole in this bay for my um, charge jack or receptacle or plug or whatever you want to call it. Um, so what I'm going to do next is um, do all the wiring from the battery to this plug and glue the plug in to the 3D bracket and then I can basically close, close it up and call it done. So I'm going to get onto the wiring. I finished up the wiring from my um, quick charge system for the X10. Um, this is going to be the side that actually installs in the radio. Um, here's that connector I'm using, the 5 pin. And on that, I've soldered on a, a balance lead, which uh, will plug into the balance lead on the battery. And then I've plugged, I've soldered up a um, uh, female like servo connector, and that'll plug into uh, the charge lead on the battery. So also that'll also allow me to get the battery in and out quick without really um, messing with the. Uh, soldering or wiring or anything like that and then here's the end uh this this is um a, a charge lead i basically made up this is the end that plugs into this connector and it has a balance lead and a charge lead so all this will get plugged into any you can get plugged into any um you know lipo charger and you can fast charge uh, the battery through the radio so I'm going to uh, get this connector permanently mounted in the radio and I'll show you guys how that goes and then after that I'll get the battery in and get this thing buttoned up. So I have my 3D printed bracket mounted. I have the connector pushed in in place and the wiring I routed around this battery tray and I pushed the connectors uh, through the existing hole here on the side and just kind of tucked everything in here. I clipped in the new battery and I've zip tied these wires off in a few spots uh, just to keep them from getting into the gimbals. Um, and that's pretty much it. The next thing I'm going to do is put the case on and that'll sort of set the height of this connector because this connector can still slide up and down a little bit. So I'll put the case on and probably push this connector down a little bit till it's flush with the back of the case. And I'll take the case off again and put a few drops of uh, CA or super glue on this connector to hold it in place. Okay, I'm all done with the uh, battery mod or the charging mod. Uh, I have the radio here and I have my uh, ISDT charger. So I'm just gonna plug everything in and hopefully no magic smoke comes out and we'll see if, uh, we'll see if I can get this thing charged up with uh, normal fast charger. So pull that off and cross our fingers and plug this guy in. Goes in easy. Charger's reading the uh, voltage of the battery. So let's go through here. Switch this to lithium ion. Just go up to Eight amps for now, and we'll hit start, and it seems to be all good. So this is a solid result, I'd say. The really easy charging solution for the X10 uh, V1, 
Um, also definitely work for the V2 if you don't want to charge through that uh, barrel connector. But yeah, I'm totally happy with this. It was, uh, you know, it was very simple. There's tons of room in this radio. Um, the case design is extremely simple and there's not a lot of um, supports or anything inside. So there's plenty of room to make the mods. Uh, nothing difficult about it if you want to try it on your own. Uh, I'll leave a link to the parts I used and I'll try to link to the uh, uh, STL file for my 3D printed part if you want to try to make one yourself. Um, yeah, so basically uh, I'm ready to use this radio now. So I'll go over some of the parts I used so I can show you guys uh, if you, if you want to try it yourself. These are all the parts I got from Hanson Hobbies. Um, these are called 1x5 um, latching polarized connectors. Um, this is the female side, I guess they call it. It's got a, uh, a latching clip that's really easy to push. And then there's two receptacles. There's um, a standard one where the pins come straight out, and there's a 90 degree one. And I use the 90 degree one, although I ordered both parts just to see which one would work better. But the 90 degree, degree one, 90 degree one is definitely the one you want to use. And then just some 2S uh, balance connectors, both ends. Um, then we have the crimping parts for the balance connectors, and also. Uh, the crimping parts for the uh, five pin connectors and you'll need some um, servo wire crimping uh, crimping tool and some wire strippers and cutters and obviously some wire but you know most hobbyists already have all that stuff these parts are really cheap um, Hanson Hobbies is great they have a lot of uh, good selection of little connectors and odds and ends that I always use so yeah they're worth checking out for sure um, yeah, so there it is. Charging modification to the X10 complete.